It's seven o'clock. Let's see if we're live today. Give me a hidey ho if you see me. I'm creeping my own page to see what happens here. 13 seconds ago. I think I'm live. I seem to not be frozen. Yep. 13 oh. seconds ago. Okay, stop that. Now I've got me in I'm stereo. Live. Ah, stop it. <laughs> All right, I see eyes on me. This is a good sign. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Give me a hidey ho. Hey, Penny. Nice to see you. Holy moly, you guys. That was not a fun hour. Uh, it went really fast. That hour went so fast yesterday. I'm like, really? 7.52? Okay, I've been sitting here staring at my screen for an hour. My husband wasn't happy because I had uh, told him to get off the internet. He was watching a movie and I thought maybe that was screwing it up. So when I went upstairs, he's like, can I go back to my movie now? I'm like, oh, you could have an hour ago. I said I didn't go live. So he was like, oh, thanks. It's good. Hi, Melissa, Donna, and Donna, the Donna and Donna show. And Penny, excellent. I'm just going to wait a little bit longer than usual. Hi, Connie. Yes, much better tonight, right? I was so, like, come on. I was, it's my own fault, right? I, I angered the universe by being prepared. And so apparently I had the power to shut down Facebook Lives. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you can't, no. <laughs> Not funny joke to say I can't see you. No, I see you. Well, I see eyeballs on me. I don't see you. All right. Well, it's 7.01 on a Wednesday. The whole thing is weird, but what was it MJ said? She says, yes, it is. Check it out Tuesday, the Wednesday edition. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, um, I had a plan yesterday and, but it, it wasn't, it wasn't me from what I can figure out. Hey Jen. Hi, thanks for popping in. Um, from what I can establish, uh, there was a problem with Facebook going live everywhere. Hi, Mary. Um, and actually in that hour where I kept trying to go live and trying to go live, I actually did Google, um, Facebook outage and there's, um, there, there was a, a site that I headed to and it did show a spike in problems with apps around seven o'clock last night. So it really is consistent with, I don't know. There was some Facebook black hole last night. So I, I live and die by Facebook. If Facebook goes under, I'm out of business because I don't want to do it any other way. A lot of people have said, hey, you can, you can stream to YouTube. You can do all these other things. But honestly, I don't want to. Um, hello, Kathy. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? You almost screenshotted my faces last night. Yeah, I know because there are a few different like I am very expressive. I have established that. Who was it who said sometimes they watch my lives with no sound on? And I'm like, pardon? Like with the qu closed captioning? They're like, yeah, sometimes. But t turn off the sound and just watch me sometime. <laughs> it's quite comical because I am very expressive. And so without sound, it's quite funny. Um, yes, thank you, Lynn. It, uh, yeah, got it. Well, yeah, I did nothing. It was just um, Facebook decided to play nice today. Hi, Kathy. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. I was ready last night. It was weird. It was just weird. So tonight I'm here. My family is saying, well, what's going on tonight? I said, well, I'm doing a live because I didn't do one last night, even though I was down here for an hour. So, um, oh, I know what I was saying is I don't want to do all the streaming to YouTube and all these things. I love this community. I love Facebook. I love going live in this platform where I can see you guys commenting. Um, I can have this interaction with you. If I start streaming live to Facebook and YouTube at the same time, well, I can only be at one place. I can only see comments on one place. And YouTube is very, um, very heavy on, you know, viewers from around the world, uh, which is great. That has, that has an appeal um, in a lot of ways. But I like the community I have. And on, face, on Facebook, like, I feel I know you guys. Right? I see the same names week after week after week. We've been doing this for two and a half, three, almost three, well, it'll be three years in March, right? So I feel like I know you. And if I go to a whole new platform, yes, there'll be a lot of um, new friends that we can make, but there'd be way too many for me to keep up. And I can't have the chats, right? I love that we can chat too, Penny. I, I love that. And I mean, I watch I watch a lot of the big players, right? Like, um, um, uh, what's her name? The one I'm always casing. Um, oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, the ones who the ones who go live. Oh, 
totally, totally brain fart. <sighs> Stampin' Studio. Um, oh my lord, the Italian lady. What's her name? Anyway, uh, Lisa Cur Lisa Curcio. I watch her all the time, and you just see the 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 messages scrolling, 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 and she doesn't have the interaction. Uh, she does her lives and people are commenting and that's great for them, but I like the interaction. I feel like I get to know you and vice versa. Uh, yeah, Mary Nabe as well, Jennifer V. Um, I don't watch a lot of her lives, but I when I watch the replays for Lu uh, Lisa Curcio at my Stampin' Studio, um, yeah, there's no way you can keep up with that volume. And that's what I like. I like the personal. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it, it also speaks to um, do things your way. I'm doing things my way. I... Uh, I don't want to have 2 million followers. Like, th that's not why I do this. I don't do it for the number of followers and likes and all that kind of stuff. I do it for the community and for the friendships. And I like what I got going on. So hopefully Facebook is um, never never going to go away because then I'm out of business. <laughs> hey, Shayla, we haven't started. We're just rambling, you know, as we do for the first 5, 10 minutes. But anyway, so I can't take any credit for what I'm going to show you tonight. I am casing... 95% from Leanne Greff and she is Flowerbug. She is flowerbug.typepad.com. Uh, Leanne Greff, L-E-E-A-N-N Greff, G-R-E-F-F. -F. She's one of the big players in the U.S. Uh, top demo, top demo, top demo. So I don't spend a lot of time on YouTube either, Jennifer. Just if I'm looking for something specific, I'll always go to Lisa Curcio because she has shorter videos and right to the point. None of this rambling like I do. She gets to the point. She gets her done. Um, Leanne Greff. So have you all seen this new thing that's going on called four corner stamping? Essentially what it is, is you got a piece of paper, an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, and you stamp in a, in a crop, you stamp up and down and then side to side, and then you cut your paper and you've got four panels and, um, I used to, but not in the last three years. Used to, what, Shayla? Do, YouTube? Um, oh, <laughs> Jennifer. Uh, anyway, so you, you do, you stamp up and down and side to side, and then you cut the panels into four. So this is the same idea. So that's called four corner stamping. Um, the one that Leanne did, she, she called it five, five at a time. What did she call it? She called it, yeah, five at a time. Very similar idea. All right. I'm with you, Shayla. Uh, and this one spoke to me more, A, because I loved the, um, the layout that she did, the, the stamps and the colors, and it's more of my size. You know that a lot of times my layers are four and three quarters by three and a half, and that's what she used. And I'm thinking, well, I could even make this one smaller. I could go with uh, three and a quarter by four and a half. So you, you can mix it around. You can change the sizes. The concept is going to be the same. So we're going to show you, well, I haven't finished the cards. I wanted to do a quick little test drive last night, and then before before everything went sideways, this is what I had done just to kind of get wrap my head around where I was going to go um, with the images. So this is essentially Leanne's beautiful paper that she made. So I'm going to show you how we did that, how I made this. I haven't cut it, I haven't mounted it, so that part again, I'm just going to case hers. Uh, why reinvent the wheel? A beautiful card is a beautiful card. There's no shame. There is no shame in copying. It's it's a compliment. As long as you give the person the credit, and absolutely, I will give this to Leanne all night long. And then I thought, if there's time, which there probably won't be because I'm rambling and rambling, but uh, I'm going to show you a few different stamp sets that I think this would work with as well. So my friend Mary Nabe, actually, she was the first one that I saw do this technique. Isn't it beautiful, Nikki? I just freaking love it. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Uh, but my friend Mary Nabe had done the four corner stamping using the uh, soft seedlings stamp set, which is this one. So she had stamped an X or a cross along her paper with this. And it was really pretty. So this, it works with this stamp set. You want something that has a large image and these have larger and smaller um, holly leaves. So then I thought if I have time, this would be a nice one to try with the Joyful Flurry because you have different snowflakes that you can do. Might even work with the Cottage Rose. I know, isn't it gorgeous, Shada? I know, it is amazing. 
I saw somebody do one with the sunflowers, but they actually masked off so that they weren't stamping over the sunflower. These ones you can stamp over each other and that's okay. I thought this one might also work, the Splendid Thoughts. So just some ideas on different stamp sets that we can use. I'm going to put these away for now because um, I know I won't get to all of them. I need, I need more shelf space. <laughs> this is not okay. Uh, so what I'm using for this piece of paper, I have to get, I'm falling off my chair here, and my heat is on because it was very cold down here. All right, so the stamp set, uh, I'm using the stamps for this. The Leaves of Holly and merriest moments. So we're using the big images in here and the berries. And then in here, we're using the sprig here and the splotches. Okay. Oh, did you use the cottage wreath? Perfect, Melissa. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna use tonight just purely because that's what Leanne used and it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. So can you, just, oh, the cards are gonna be fabulous. Um, mm, mm, mm. Oh, here's what I was gonna say. So. For those of you who are demonstrators, hey, if you don't have the Leaves of Holly set or bundle and you want it, um, Merriest Moments and Christmas. Yeah, this is the Merriest Moments and Christmas Season. Christmas Season. I don't know what Christmas Season is. I have to look that one up. Anyway, if you don't have this bundle and you want it, if you order it through my store with my um, with my host code, it's seventy dollars. That will get you my demonstrator training that is happening this Saturday morning for free. So if you want it, you can get double double bang for your buck here. Is you can get this, and you'll also get my training for free on Saturday, which is on goals, goal setting, goal tracking, goal um, adjusting, and on time management. Uh, so yeah. $70 for the bundle for the Leaves of Holly. And by the end, like, really, you need this in your life. And it's in stock right now. Okay, so let's get busy. Um, I am going to actually score. You can see I've scored my paper here. Now, Leanne Graff, if you hop over to her blog, which is, again, flowerbug.typepad.com, she just marked her paper with a pencil. And then erase them after the fact. I'm like, nah, I'm going to score it. And then I can see it really easily. And that's just the way I'm going to roll. So the measurements for each panel. So you're going to get five panels. One, whoops, let's back up here. One, two, three, four, five. They're all four and three quarters by three and a half. And these ones are three and a half by four and three quarters. So I'm going to move my cutter out of the way. I'm going to go to four and three quarters. And this comes very easily to me because I have been cutting paper for 17 years. And I know. When you cut it four and three quarters, you're going to get five panels to a sheet. It's just, I've done it so many times. So I'm going to score it all the way down at four and three quarters. And then this little chunk, I'm going to open this, swing it open. It needs to be at three and a half. So if I move this over to three and a half, I just know that that's going to work. So you scooch it over and you line this up. So either put the score line at three and a half or you can put the, this whole thing way over here at eight and a quarter. So either way, this panel is four and three quarters. This one is three and a half. Now I'm going to turn it. And because this is four and three quarters, now I'm going to score it at three and a half, like all the way along. So three and a half. But when I score it, I'm only going to go down to this score line. So I'll, I'll put my little... I, so I have my scoring blade is in here somewhere. Uh, right here. I have it. I do have it. But I actually prefer to use my stylus. It, I just have more control with it. So I'm going to start at this score line. I'm going to go up. So that's three and a half. If I scooch it over to seven, same thing. I'm going to go from the score line up. And then, so that's seven and then ten and a half from the score line up. Now this section, this is three and a half, so I need these two to be four and three quarters. So I'm gonna go here. Actually, I'm gonna swing it this way. I'll go four and three quarters, four and three quarters. And I want it to be from the score line down to the score line. So this is four and three quarters by three and a half. And then this one, what's four and three quarters and four and three is eight, nine and a half, is that right? Uh, nine and a half. Is that right? Four and three quarters and four and three quarters. This is at four and three quarters, about there. Is that about right? Yeah, nine and a half. Mm -hmm. 
Math is hard. Okay, there is a flying thing in here. I think it's a fruit fly. What? Oh, I must kill it. Okay. Sorry, I'm distracted now by a fruit fly. <laughs> okay, so we've done the scoring, and that's just so that I can see where I'm going to be stamping. So this is, again, <coughs> excuse me, they're all four, <coughs> four and three quarters by three and a half. Oh, that doesn't look right. Is that right? I just That, that doesn't look right. Four and three quarters, yeah, by... Yeah, well, that's right. Okay, three and a half. Okay, so now I'm going to start stamping. All right. I know, they're just... And why? Like, I have, I don't have, like, bananas down here or something. I don't know. There may be fruit fly in here. All right, so I'm going to start off by using um, a baby wipe. I'm going to clean off my stamps here from the other day. Um, I'm going to use my Evening Evergreen and my open stamps and by that no yeah yeah this one so these ones are open and these ones I'm calling like closed so these are gonna be my outlines which are my darker images and then I'm gonna fill them in with the lighter ones here so these are gonna be evening evergreen these are gonna be soft succulent so I'm gonna start with my big one and I think we did five let me just count one Two, three, four. Yeah, she did five. I just did exactly what she did. I'm like, okay, I'll, Leanne knows what she's doing. I'm going to do what she did. So I'm going to try to stamp kind of along this main seam, this main um, scoring line. Hi, Hope. And then I'm going to try to make sure that I have some stamping on either side of it. So we're really just going to try to go into this quadrant along the score line. So here we go. Here we go inked it up. Now you can use a foam pad. Uh, my desk is very firm and uh, there's going to be, there's going to be a lot of ink filling in the spot. So I'm not too worried about using the foam pad, but a foam pad does give you um, clearer images. So I'm going to just start stamping. So there's the first one. And I'm just trying, like I say, to make sure that I have some, oh, that's nasty. Make sure that I have images along the seam. So it's two. Three. Not a great image. Not a big deal. We're going to fill it all in. Four. Oh, ugly red and back beetles. Do you have a lot of lilies in your area, Nikki? We had the red um, lily beetles. Okay, so I've got five of our large one. I'm going to just clean that off because it's messy. Now I'm going in. It's the same. It's an open stamp. I'm going to go in. It's a little bit smaller. And I'm going to fill in some of the spots here. So we'll go... One, two, three, four. I think I did five of these ones too. Um, let's just go here, five. Okay, so we got five of those. All right. Now I'm going to go in with a soft succulent. I'm going to fill in those gaps. So, ink it up. So this is the larger one. Now because these are photopolymer, you can see through them and you can see where you're going to stamp. So just take your time. I mean, if it's not lined up perfectly, it is not the end of the world. Uh, because we're going to put all kinds of splatters on it, and yeah, two, I'm trying to hover over this without banging my head on the camera for you, three,
four. Five. Like, just look at the depth of color. I just, I love it. I love it. Love it. I haven't given this set enough use. I use the dies. Like, I don't do a ton of stamping lately because my mystery card Mondays are pretty much paper and sentiments. Tuesdays, you know, I play with a different stamp set most weeks. And then I have blog hops and um, so on and so forth. But I, I tend to use my dies more. But I'm telling you, I'm kind of in love with this. Set. So again, if you're a demonstrator and you don't own this, which I would find very surprising if you didn't, and you want to get it, order it through me and you'll get my training on Saturday for free. And that training, you'll have access to the replay, like even if you can't make it on Saturday. If you're on my team, if you're a trailblazer, it's free for you. Um, but everybody else, it's either $70 e-transferred or a minimum $50 online order, which is, of course, your better deal because you get product and the training. Versus if you just send me $70, you're just getting the training. You don't have it, Jennifer! Well, if you want to order it through me, you can have the training on Saturday. And access to the replay. Also, you, do you guys know, like, when you order through me, at the end of every month, I send you PDFs. Look at this. Oh, check. I got to show you what it is. Oh. Squirrel. That's a little sneak peek. Yeah, I send you PDFs of projects um, that are gorgeous. So you get all kinds of free stuff from me when you order through me. All right, so now we're going to go in and we are going to do some... Am I going to do the berries? Yeah, I'm going to do the berries next. So there are two kinds of berries. Again, there are the solid berries and then there are the accent berries. Ah, Shayla. Well, if it's in the budget, man, order it through me. You could use that training. Come on, goals, time management. What? All right, so I'm going to go in with my berries, and I'm going to just fill in spots with the berries. And as you're doing the berries, you want to not have them the same orientation everywhere you go, right? Like you want to twist it around and turn it so that it looks like they're a little bit more natural. And you're just going to fill in some spots for the berries. These berries are very pleasing to me. Are you working, Shayla? How is your uh, your injury? Crazy girl. Okay, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna fill in some more. I should be leaving some room on each one of these panels for um, the sentiment, but I don't know. I get a little carried away with the stamping part. I'm going with nine. What the heck? All right. Yeah, I'm going to do one more up here. Because I can. All right. Pain meds. Ugh. Yeah. Thank God for pain meds, hey? All right. So now we've got our accent berries. And I'm going to go over each one. And again, because it's photopolymer, it's pretty easy to see where you're going. And if it's not exact, don't worry about it. Hey, Jen, how are you? So I'm just going to go in. My mom says thanks for the cards, Jen. Uh, Jen Lamaru had donated some cards to my mom's church sale, which is happening November 1st, I think it is. So thank you for that. And just look at the difference, look at the depth of the berries now that they have. Sorry, this is cherry cobbler. So I stamped the original berries in red. That one was totally off, but that's okay. Um, the original berries are in red, and then I'm doing the accent in cherry cobbler. And if I would slow down, I would uh, line them up a little bit better. Maybe. And while I'm stamping, I'll remind you, the starter kit promotion is only on until next Monday 
at like 11.59 p.m. So if you haven't snagged your starter kit, do it. Look how look how rich this is right now. We could stop right there, but no, no, we're gonna do some more. We're gonna fill in now with some of these, these, the greenery from this other set, which is called the Merriest Moments. And I'm gonna do these in evergreen. Yeah, Jen, it's Winman, right? Okay. Uh wow. Couple yeah, I sent there's probably about five hundred in the bucket that I sent to my gave to my mom for the church. Probably had to be five hundred. Like I'm gonna go broke on the on the envelopes alone. All right, so here, this is where we kind of go crazy. We're just gonna fill in all kinds of space with this greenery. And this is where it really starts to come to life. Look at that. It's just oh, fabulous. Gorgeous. Love it. Now, I'm not leaving a lot of room, actually, for the sentiment. Oh, missed a spot. Oh, well. Um, I can fill in some. Let's see. I'm thinking over here. I want a little bit more coverage. Uh, like that. And then I'm thinking sentiment, sentiment. Yeah, okay, that'll work. I didn't leave very much room there. That's okay, maybe I'll do one more over here. Oh, that was really dark. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, um, for the last little bit, I'm going to go in with, there's a splatter. The splatter is also from this Merriest Moments. And I'm filling that in in soft succulent. It's looking good, right, Carmen? Okay. Oh, see, bit, okay, we're going to cover that up with some splotches right there. Ha ha. More than one way to hide a boo boo. And so really anywhere in here that's left, I'm just going to add some color just so it's not quite as stark. Just adds a little character in over here too because... Oh, I don't need to go way down there because that's not even part of the panel. Up here. Where else? Sure. I think we're done. Step away from the stamp, Tamara. Step away, Tamara. <laughs> Stop it! No. I like to stamp things. <laughs> She's out of control, people. Out of control. Okay, it's getting really hot in here. I have to turn off my... Wait! The bottom berry... Oh! Oh, look at Nancy. <laughs> look at the big brain on Nancy. Okay. Sorry, honey. Didn't make you make you all twitchy there. Okay. All right. You guys, jeepers. Don't yell at me. Gosh, you miss one little patch of berries. Everybody loses their minds. Wow. You guys are uptight. <laughs> okay. Hang on. I got to turn off the heat. I'm going to melt to death. Hang on. Hang on. Don't go away. Okay, so this is fun. I like this. Like, look at this. So again, you can see doing this in snowflakes um, and various things. I'm going to just take a quick second here and I'm going to clean off some of these really gross stamps because I know what's going to happen here. Remember the other day when I did that, um, when I did that enamel effect stuff? Yeah, I put cards on top of it. And they all stuck together and it ended up in the garbage because then the envelope dried to the enamel effects. And so I know me. And so I need to clean off some of these so it doesn't end up the same way. Okay. <gasps> That's okay, Melanie. It's Wednesday. No, I can't start over. No. No. But look what we made without you. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So now I'm going to cut it. Now, so this is where it may or may not be ideal. Um... Might not get the score lines exactly right, but I'm going to start by cutting it at the four and three quarters because this is how I normally, when I cut my layers or my, um, yeah, when I cut my layers, I start at four and three quarters. And then this one is going to be three and a half. I hope these are all dry. <laughs> three and a half. And then it's three and a half. So now we need four and three quarters, four and three quarters, 
I know. It, you know what? We should get you a t-shirt printed, Jennifer. I've arrived. Can you start over? <laughs> now, so these ones are four and three quarters. So now we go by three and a half, right? So each panel, four and three quarters by three and a half. And or I'm just cutting on my score lines. And three and a half. So I now have my five panels that I'm going to turn into cards. And look how pretty they are. Now, if you decide that I want, you know, that you want more greenery, well, you absolutely can go back and fill some in. And I might. This one doesn't have a lot of space. Um, this one has maybe too much space. I don't know. I don't know. But look how pretty these are. So you're going to have five. Um, hi, Sarah. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So now... Um, what did she do? She, she, she being Leanne Greff, we took, um, I want to say cherry cobbler. Ah, uh, cherry cobbler is my favorite. So I'm going with cherry cobbler. Note to self, order more cherry cobbler. So these layers of the cherry cobbler are going to be two ticks larger. So four and three quarters plus two ticks, which is four and seven eighths in grown up language, but in Tamara world. It is four and three quarters plus two ticks. And by two ticks, I mean two ticks, two ticks, four and three quarters plus one tick, two ticks, which is four and seven eighths. So right there. Or you could say five less two ticks. All right. So four and three quarters plus two ticks. And then this is going to be three and a half plus two ticks. And it just happens to be exactly right. Nothing needs to be trimmed off this one. That's just the way it works. Math. It's a good thing. Okay, so this was four and three quarters by three and a half plus two ticks. Three and a half plus two ticks. Ugh, my blade isn't sharp enough. Three and a half. I'm pretty I'm pretty cheap. Like when it comes to using a new blade, yeah, not so much. Okay, so then this is three and a half plus two ticks already, so now it has to go by four and three quarters and two ticks and four and three quarters and two ticks. So those are my layers. And she matted these on one of my other favorite colors, soft succulent. So I need five bases. One, two, three, four, five. Note to sell, order another pack of soft succulent. Five and a half. Two bases. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's just, um, so Melissa, this is not a Tamara original. This is from Leanne Greff at flowerbug, flowerbug.typepad.com. So she gets all the credit. This is 100% her card. Did I say five and a half? Five and a half, okay. So there are my five bases. Then you're going to snazz it up or not. Um... I'm looking for my new stamp set. Hang on. So framed. Cards. Okay, I'm not using. I'm not doing. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I need to find my new Christmas one. Uh, brightest glow. So you could use this one, and you could use this one. I'm just looking for my best Christmas sentiments that I love. Hang on. Framed and festive. These are my three favorite uh, sentiment sets. So keep those to the ready. All right, let's just build this a little bit. Now you can keep these simple. Um, and let the stamping just do all the work. You can step them up. You can put the sentiments on um, like banners, labels, shapes, whatever you want to do. But it doesn't need it, especially with this particular stamp pattern. It's so pretty. You really don't need anything else. And you should be able to have five really quick cards within... Within an hour, even less than an hour. I mean, really, considering how much I ramble at the beginning. We never start between before 710, right? All right. So I am going to layer these. And then we'll worry about the stamping. I mean, I probably... Okay, look, remember? Squirrel! Remember last week? Or on... What day was that? Monday? 
really, that was two days ago. These, these are the um, enamel effects that I did and they're ready to go, like they're dry. And so you can make a whole bunch of them and just when you're ready to use them, put a glue dot on them. So those are from what I did the other night. And now they're in my way. <laughs> All right, so focus, Tamara, focus. You could pop things up on dimensionals. That adds a little bit of pizzazz, interest, texture. It's not 100% accurate, and that bothers me because it's just a little bit bigger here than it is here. Move on, Tamara. Let it go. All right, so I am layering. These are so pretty. Okay. So she called this five at a time. But if you want to see some other patterns, you go to Uncle Google and you type in four corner stamping up, four corner technique, four corner stamping. Um, because that is the more common one where, like say, it's a cross like, like this in your paper and you make four panels. So this is giving us the five. So then you decide your orientation and where you're going to want your sentiment and how you want that sentiment to go. So I'm thinking that and that. This one, like they just kind of naturally look better that way. <laughs> that way. So then you're just going to pick your sentiments that you want. Yes, you are just hanging out, watching me think out loud, right? Okay, so now you're going to find whatever sentiment is going to fit. And I'm not going to pop these up yet because I want to do the stamping. So you're not going to pop them up on dimensionals until you're ready to go. Um, so this one calls for a long, maybe a season's greetings. Or... God's blessings to you. Oh, I like that. I do like some religious ones, like more, more religious. So I like that one. I'm not a big fan of seasons greetings. It's just not my thing. I don't really care for seasons greetings. It's too non-committal. <laughs> greetings of the season. I don't know. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Commit. Okay. God's blessings to you. I want that right in the middle, I think. Sure, why not? Do I have a halo? No, so I'm checking to see if I have a halo. God's blessings to you. Oh, pretty, pretty. Okay, now this one. We need one that's kind of skinnier and up and down in here. Could be like a from our home to yours if there's enough room there. Maybe not. This one, this one's a big spot. Let's let's get a big one in here. May the season be filled with peace and joy. Tis the season to be jolly. From our home to yours. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Uh lots in here. Big Merry Christmas. Let's see. Have yourself some merry little Christmas? Sure. Let's do it. Oh, where are all my blocks? They're all covered with my... Oh, Lord. I'm okay. Luckily, I have more blocks. <laughs> all right. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. No halo. Okay. Okay. This one calls for a big one. Again, just a big old Merry Christmas. Is that big enough? Merry Christmas. Yep. I like it. Merry Christmas is my favorite one. You all have to run out and order this set. I hear you, Coda. Are you there? Coda, he's so gentle. He'll stand on the other side of the door, and I can hear him breathing, but he he doesn't you know barrel through and push his nose to get the door 
in there. Um, okay, what other? Okay. What have I got? Happy New Year, no, all is merry and bright. See now, I'm kind of tempted to fill that in a little bit. And I've got ink everywhere. Wishing you a season of hope and light. So that can be too big. Thanks, Betsy. How are you? That's a little bit too wide. Tis the season. Let's just do that. Tis the season. Ah, it's a little bit crooked, and there seems to be some fuzz on my stamp, but that's okay. Tis the season. And then this one... May the season be filled with peace and joy. And my stamp pad is actually not as juicy as I'd like, which really does irritate me. I like a juicy ink pad. However. <laughs> really, Donna? Yeah, no, Code is just such a gentle giant, honestly. So, yeah. You know, you could jazz it up with ribbon. Um... May, okay, I'm going to pop these up now. I'm not going to do ribbon. Like, let's just try to keep a couple of them simple for a minute here, Tamara. I'm going to grab some of my dimensional backs, cause I've, or the edges, because I got scads of them. Look at them all. Okay, keep those out of the way. Grab my tool. And let's pop these up. So I'm going to not use ribbon on these. I might use some of my gold holly leaves if I can find them. I know where they should be. doesn't mean that's where they are. Um, you could throw in some jingle bells. You could throw in, um, oh, so many things. These are our newest. Where are they? Hang on. Uh... I saw them here yesterday. What did I do? Here they are. These, like this bright gold would go really well. These are the new uh, gold adhesive back swirls. That would go really nice. Um, so gold is going to go nice on, on these. What's going on here? What, 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 what? Here we go. Okay. Okay. Stop it. I have to cut these. Oh, there's still two in here. But yeah, I think on this particular one, I'm going to let the uh, the stamping do most of the heavy lifting here. Three. Hi, Barbara. That's okay. Come in whenever you can. I mean, Wednesday is not my usual night. Like I said, the family was very confused going, but it's Wednesday. I said, I know, but I didn't go live yesterday, so... People have expectations, darn it. I can't leave the the people waiting. Okay. I need a sip of water. You could, Melissa, or are you asking me if I will? You're saying, could you do the gold leafing on it? Of course, sure you could. I don't want to. That stuff is messy. <laughs> um you could. I got to dig that stuff out, actually, now that you mention it. Let me think. How is that stuff used? With heat and stick powder, I think? No, Kathy. Okay, honestly, Gen V, you need to have t-shirts made. <laughs> I am late. I'm here. Can you start over? You're the third person who's asked that tonight, Kathy. <laughs> You're going to have to patent that. Made a couple of cards with the stamp set the other day. I wasn't terribly happy with them, but I'm so excited to try what you're doing. To oh, Hope, I love you. You know what, Hope? I've decided I am going to come to North Carolina one of these days, and I am going to stay with you. It's going to happen. I want to hang out with you. I think we could be besties. What do you think? What do you say? I have to bring my husband. Is your husband fun? I don't know if Craig's fun. If he's fun for me. I don't know if he's fun for other people. He doesn't golf. He doesn't do a lot of stuff. He's funny, though. Okay. 
I just think that'd be fun. And hey, if y'all ever want to come to Canada, I was going to say you can stay with me, but my house isn't very big. I don't have a spare room or anything. But hey, your dollar is worth like a million Canadian dollars. So you could come here for almost free. Because your dollar is a heck of a lot better than our dollar. I can't afford to go to the States. All right. Wouldn't that be grand? Hope, honestly, if um, the next time that there's something going on in Florida, like the uh, if conferences in Florida or something, you have to go. And then I have to go. And we'll at very least meet there. Or in Utah. If the next thing is in Utah, you need to come there and we'll hang out. We'll be friends. Well, we are friends, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to close down this. I got this here. Okay, so. Um, right. Look. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. Okay. I'm going to see if I can find my the bees. Let's, let's look at my tickle trunk. Right? Anybody from Canada who remembers Mr. Dress Up, there's a tickle trunk. A tickle trunk of, like, our dress-up clothes and things, right? We all have a tickle trunk. Here we go. Oh, I'm not going to like these. No, no, no. These are... Oh, they're very bright. I'm not sure that they go. Maybe they go. I don't know. What have we got here? Oh, look! Okay, I got a little excited there. <laughs> yes, Connie, wouldn't that be fun? Oh, Look, we could do some of these. Oh, but we already have berries. We can color these red. I bought like three packs of these. I really should use them one day, hey? <sighs> what else have we got? I got be Look! Oh my gosh. Okay, I bought a lot of them. <laughs> like, and these are double... These, uh, okay. Note to self. Use those... Uh, oh! What have I got here? I got lots of puff paint. Oh my. Tamara. I got a lot of stuff. A bunch of things. Okay, well, I'm not sure that I like this color. It's pretty intense. And they're pretty small. So I'm going to go with no <laughs> on those. But I do have lots of other. Tell Craig he can come though. Well, yeah. Are you married? Um, Hope, do you have a husband? Um, or do we just have to ship Craig off to the pool? We can do that too. Okay. Meanwhile, i got to find a few embellishments here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. What am I thinking? I'm thinking some stuff and some things. I don't know where they are. I'm just going to open a new pack because I know we're going to use them anyway. These ones are a nice gold. Okay, let's just bring out all the things, Tamara. Again, you know, this is where I start floundering. So do we, I don't want pearl. I think I want gold. Don't you think? I think gold. Maybe we don't wait for a stamping conference, ladies. Maybe we just say, okay, let's just all meet up in Florida. Get her done. It's a long way for me to get to Florida, but that's okay. I'll make that sacrifice. Okay, like, I'm thinking this is a nice gold. It's not too in your face bright. Do I even need it, though? Like, we've got all this other stuff. I do. You know me. Or do I go with the champagne? Okay. Oh, Melanie's going to make the shirts. Oh, look what I just found. Okay, I'm such a loser. Um, I kind of like the champagne. What do you think, champagne or gold? Ah, oh, Crystal is in. Crystal. Crystal's down with it. What do you think, you guys? You can't really tell. I kind of like the... Uh... Hmm. 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 Let's just see. Maybe too much. Like, is it really necessary? I don't know. sure it's necessary honestly however wink of Stella on what Jen yeah I think that's too much I don't I don't think I like the jewels it, it doesn't kind of go I'm thinking just keep it the way it is and I've got a few smudges here and there uh, I am toying with okay we're somewhere on my desk here we go remember those bows from the other night like maybe you just put a bow. Maybe you don't put a bow. That's no, 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 no. I'm thinking. Maybe you just leave it alone. Let's just see if we had like no. No. I think it's just Wink of Stella champagne. Yeah. I think it needs nothing. I think it's no. I think it's good. 
you're saying some wink on the berries, the light wispy leaves. Now, the only problem I have with that is that when you add the wink, it's going to bleed. It will make these. Yeah, I'm thinking, hey, Penny. Or maybe one, like maybe just a, a one. No, no. Thinking not. Just plain, right? Envelopes, Donna says, yes. Okay, I'm just, I'm not saying, okay, it's 7.50, just hang on, hold on to your shirts, it's just, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just going to play for a minute here, just want to say, I have to convince myself, because you know me, you know that I like a little bling here and there, so I'm just looking at my, my, my little teeny tiny clear ones, like maybe just, like, no, but where would you put them? It's so busy. Remember these from way back when? Here's what I used to do all the time. Now, just I know it's beautiful. I should just step away. Just hang on, though. One, two, three, four, five. I used to always. These were our old rhinestones, and they had the things on a on a on a thing. A th the thing on the thing. And then I would just do like five of them in a row. What do you think of that? Is that too much? Does it make me happy? What do you think? Splatter uh, could do that. Yeah, it terrifies me a little bit. What do you think about that? This one might. Maybe not all of them. I don't know. Thoughts? I just, can you even believe I just broke look at these nails? I just broke one. How can something so short actually break? <sighs> Honestly, can you tell me what you think about these five? Yeah? Okay. Merry Christmas. I could use five. It's got to be five. Three or five. Just like that. Like that. God's blessing to you. Still like it plain, hey? Center them. Oh, Lord. I don't center anything. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. This just comes down to personal preference, right? A little crooked. Plain. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. I'm going to do them all and then we'll see. And then I better do my envelopes or... Donna might come knocking on my door. Plain, yeah. Okay. Oh, everybody says plain, hey? Okay. Because I keep on going. <laughs> yeah, they are kind of random, but anyway. Well, I'm going to leave them for now because I can't be bothered. And then um, I guess on the inside now, I should probably do a liner on each one. Oh, fine. I'll do a liner. Grab my tray of ready cut. So, you know, this is when it's handy to have a stash. Oh, I still have seven minutes. Abdu Ubu. Shayla, you been drinking? <laughs> what? What you trying to say, Shayla? <laughs> you do you? Is that what you're trying to say? But you do you? <laughs> I speak spell check. Yes, uh, it's going to be 50-50. I like the bling. You do you, boo. <laughs> oh, my God. I do speak autocorrect. Oh. I don't think anybody's going to look at it and say, oh. The bling ruined it. I don't know. Oh, sakes. oh, that's way too small. What are you doing to me? What have I done? Oh my god. Now I've got something sticky. Ugh. Okay. That one was too small. Wrong size. Hi, Leslie. Just quietly watching. We. Over in the back. Hey, these ones, why aren't they all the same size? 
Just quietly hanging out over there in Ontario. I still have five minutes. I've made five whole cards. So yeah, I didn't think I'd actually get around to doing the same thing with snowflakes, but I'd be curious if you guys do try this in different stamp sets. Okay, so I'm going to do... Um, which one is the, this one in, hello, where are you, there you are, <laughs> buried, totally buried, it's a fun technique, Donna, yeah, have you tried it, okay, so this one, this is where you want to make sure you stamp with the proper orientation of your card. I.e. the card is this way, so I don't want to be stamping the inside the wrong direction. I will, well, Donna, no, I have to do, I have to do all the insides and then I'll do all the envelopes. I'll get there. I still have four minutes. Thanks for looking out for me. Like that, and then they all dry. And then grab my envelopes. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe tomorrow I will um, do the envelopes from the last two weeks that I didn't do. Hey, so speaking of, again, my demonstrator friends, are you, ah, uh, boo booed. Are you in the Tamara's Paperwork? demonstrator page because tomorrow I'm planning to start my seven part series in finding new customers. So if you are, that's the plan. I really shouldn't commit to these things until I know, like I've got training on Saturday. I have to figure out, but anyway, I'm doing the free training. So you just have to be in the demonstrator page that I just said Tamara's paperwork. Oh, Connie. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> Um, it's free training for how to find new customers. And it is the same training that we took across Canada back in 2018, 2019. What was, when did the pandemic, I don't know, 2018, 2019, when we went across the country and we did the finding new customers seminars, it is that program. So for me, there was me, Zar Premji, Tina Zink, uh, Rebecca Wheeler, and, um, Tina... It's a Polish name that I can't pronounce. Um, and a few other people had presented, but we went across the country and we did seminars on finding new customers. So we're going to start that off hopefully tomorrow at two. Uh, so if you're not in that Facebook page, you want to get into it. Tamara's paperwork demonstrator group. <laughs> I shouldn't know the name of my own group, but I don't. All right. There you have it. Thank you very much to... Leanne Graff for this amazing, beautiful sheet of paper. How about if we get in the field of vision and make it straight here? There we go. So five cards. Boom. Like that. And then, I mean, you could fill that in with another sprig. Like, do I, you know, what? I'm gonna look at that. I still have two minutes. I can do it. Thanks. This one. It's just a little naked. Okay, that might have ruined it, but anyway. Um, you could do the same here. You could just do little bits and pieces here and there. Um, but that probably screwed that up. Because <laughs> now it's not attached to anything. Anyway, step away. Step away, Tamara. Very pretty. Very pretty. Fun technique. Try it. Try it with the snowflakes and let me see how that goes. Because um, I got things I should be doing tomorrow. I'll take pictures of this. There'll be other replay. Um, so this was four and three quarters by three and a half were all my layers. And it's a fun one. Yeah. Okay. 7.59. See, time management. I'm very good at time management. You should take my training. $70 or free with a $50 online order through my store. Interested? Message me. See what I did there? Uh, what else? What else have I got going on? Today is Wednesday, so I'll be doing the finding new customers stuff tomorrow. Friday morning is my coffee break at 10 a.m. right here. Saturday is the training. 
like it just keeps going on, right? It just keeps going on, on and on and on and on. I'll see you all kinds of times if you pop in, if not, and if Facebook works. Um, so that's it. It's eight o'clock. Thank you for spending some time with me tonight. Um, give it a try. Post whatever you come up with, and I will see you either tomorrow or Friday or Saturday or Monday, whatever it is. Have a great rest of your week. See ya.